Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Today is Tuesday, October 6. The work group organized by the Los Cabos private sector, known as the COVID board, reported that restaurants and restaurant bars may operate until midnight. Julio Castillo Gomez, president of the Los Cabos Business Coordinating Council, CCC for its acronym in Spanish, and who leads the meetings where health and municipal authorities also participate, made the announcement. He also confirmed that bars and nightclubs will remain closed. Castillo said that the CCC members have been informed that it is allowed to increase the open hours of restaurant bars until midnight without exception. It is important to specify that this expansion in business hours applies to all restaurants and restaurant bars. Also, Castillo pointed out that when the establishments close at midnight, there has to be no customers inside. And he added that if restaurant bars follow these indications, there will surely be further economic activity. But above all, he said, the main thing is to take care of everyone's health. Restaurant bars may operate at 50% capacity in the current yellow level of the Baja California Sur health alert system. The representative of the COVID board said that businesses are working within the established protocols and they hope the public in general will also comply so that there can be more businesses that open while maintaining all the standards to guarantee the health and well-being of everyone. Yesterday, Monday, October the 5th, the work group of the COVID-19 pandemic met in the municipality of Los Cabos. The group that is organized by the Business Coordinating Council of Los Cabos, CCC for a acronym in Spanish, announced the new actions of government institutions to avoid contagion of the virus. Julio Castillo Gomez, executive president of the CCC and head of the COVID board, pointed out that there will be more inspections made to shopping centers and supermarkets where a lessening of social distance measures has been detected. The corresponding authorities will also apply the necessary provisions to restaurants that fail to comply with sanitary and social distancing protocols. Castillo mentioned that this week shopping centers, supermarkets and businesses will be reviewed again, as they are supposed to already know what sanitary measures need to be in place, but there have been reports of looser adherence to these protocols. The CCC president said that there were recent inspections and enforcement patrols in different areas of the city and noticed that derived from various reports, there were closures in mini-marts and convenience stores in different neighborhoods that were closing past the allowed time, as well as the closing of a restaurant bar that was disregarding the authorized business hours. Julio Castillo Gomez also mentioned that Fiscal Inspection and Cuepris worked over the weekend verifying that various restaurants in the tourist area were complying with the allowed operating capacity and business hours. The head of the Los Cabos CCC said that the adherence to the established protocols has been reflected in lower hospital occupancy with an average occupancy of 14%, meaning only 22 COVID patients in the public health system in Los Cabos. That's all that I have for you today. Have a great evening and remember to tune in this Sunday at 6 p.m. for another edition of Cabo Mill News and Community Update with special guest Fernando Landeros, director and founder of Teleton Foundation.